Hi, welcome to today's video. I am super excited to be trying some Pat McGrath goodies. Let's just get into it. So eyes are already on. This is going to be a whole separate video. I'm trying out Jordana T-shirt Cosmetics for the first time, which is a female owned, black owned, UK brand, indie brand. So I just really wanted to try it. I'm doing a whole testing video of a couple of their items. I'll link that down below, but sneak peek. I look adorable but let's get into the base so two of these products I've already tried one of them which is the primer I've tried this a lot I use it a lot I absolutely adore it this is the skin fetish sublime perfection primer I believe this is 40 pounds uh, normally but on the website it's currently 30 so bargain this is amazing for oily skin I believe it's for all skin types but I can only speak to my personal skin type which is oily just pumped out two pumps it's just like a pale pink but it comes out like it's clear once you put it on and it's just so nice it feels really moisturizing i really really love it and it really helps control oils this is genuinely my current favorite primer it just doesn't let me down ever moving on to foundation this is the skin fetish sublime perfection foundation I picked this up in the shade light three i did order this online so props to pat mcgarth's website for having easy um, and clear like uh, shade names and stuff because i think this is a pretty good match for me i have only used this once so it's not technically a first impressions but i can't tell if this is like a holy grail or not yet because like i said i've only used it the once but this is a medium coverage soft focus foundation it's a little more liquidy liquidy <laughs> liquidy than I was expecting. I'll just show you on the back of my hand. Like it's quite runny. I'm just gonna take my Juno and Co like velvety sponge. It's like really runny. So that's just that one pump and my skin looks stunning. The colour is good for me. It's definitely like light to medium. I think I'd need a teeny bit more just to make it medium. Um, but yeah, she's stunning. What I like about the colour of this foundation is it has enough yellow that it matches the little bit of yellow in my skin. But it's not completely yellow if that makes sense. So you can see my forehead is a little bit pinkier. Um, but my face just is a little bit pinkier than the rest of my body. But just, I don't know if you can see, but my neck and my chest are just a little bit kind of like neutral, but a little bit yellow. And I just really like the undertone to this foundation. I'm just going in with a little bit more over the top. Just this foundation is so thin. It's super easy to build. And also just if you prefer more of a light coverage, you're still really going to enjoy this foundation. Because if you just use a little bit, it's so blendable and just a weeny bit because it's so liquid goes such a long way. I really think um, it's quite versatile in its coverage. Feels very lightweight on the skin, even now I'm going with, you know, layer number two to build up that coverage. Like I said, I personally prefer more coverage, so I'm gonna be building this up just a wee bit more. Look at my skin right now. Yeah, she's, she's doing it for me. She's a nice medium coverage. She's taken away the redness in my cheeks, the redness of my spot. You can still see, like, the bump of my um, spot there, but all the redness has gone. Like I said, I haven't put it right under there, so obviously it won't have covered the purple because I didn't put it right up there. I normally do put my foundation everywhere, um, but I have been told um, that putting your foundation all the way up there can make your concealer crease. So I have a new concealer to try. So I've decided I won't put the, the foundation all the way up. And then if the concealer creases, we know it's only the concealer there and not the foundation. So I've just checked. I don't think I mentioned this is £61. And there are 36 shades. Where's the lid? There you go. 36 shades. I've just checked the concealer. It's £25 and also 36 shades. So the concealer. First of all, packaging. Stunning. I love the matte black and the shiny gold. Like... I was going to say embossed, it's not, oh that bit's embossed actually, the um, Pat McGrath Labs logo, the rest of it's not embossed though. I picked this up in the shade L2, so I'm guessing that means light 2, 
I again ordered this online and I haven't tried this. I haven't even taken it out. I can't even open it actually. I haven't even taken this out of the packet. So, oh, there we go. Just comparing the two, it looks like the concealer is darker than the foundation. Oh no, I hope it's not. But looking at the swatches, L3 looks the wrong colour for me. It looks too dark. L1 looks very light and very pink. And then there's obviously L2, which is the one I picked. And that does look on the swatches about the shade I would normally pick. So it just does, my issue is, it just looks a little bit darker than the foundation does. Um, and I don't want darker under eyes than the rest of my face. But just quickly on the website, it says this lush velvety concealer delivers flawless full coverage with a lightweight creamy whipped feel. Oh, it's the wrong colour. I'm going to be so real. This looks nothing like the swatch colour. Um, I'm more than happy. No, I hate it. <laughs> I hate that shade. Alright, I'm going to try and stay unbiased by the shade, even though it is upsetting me a little. And just focus on the formula. Okay, coverage, beautiful. I think for today I can get away with this shade, but this is not a light concealer in my opinion. So I'm torn, I'm annoyed at the shade because it is not the shade as described. However, it does look so smooth. The coverage is beautiful. There's definitely a soft radiant finish. So in terms of formula, she's doing what she said she was going to do that's why i'm happy but why i'm annoyed is why is l first of all why is l2 darker than l3 one question and secondly so i have just put a pink a neutral and apparently this neutral yellow concealer on the back of my hand so we can see this is neutral this is pink and this is apparently what does it say light with neutral yellow undertones babe that's orange that's not the colour you described to me, and that's definitely, definitely, let me just show you this photo. That's L2, just there, that second one, and it's yellow. This, that bottom shade, is orange. That's, I'm going to be so real, that's really frustrating. I actually don't think it looks too bad here, but it's actually not giving me the brightness or the kind of like, highlighting effect um my concealers normally do it's it's whatever i paid for it and i have it now so i'm just gonna have to <laughs> but look at that you know i'm just gonna have to get on with it but um and it is creasing under there it's whatever the actual formula is really nice which is why it's annoying me that this color is so off um but it is what it is. I've bought it, I've opened it, I've had it for too long to send it back. And actually with the foundation it doesn't look bad, it just really wasn't what I was expecting. I do have to be honest and say it is actually looking really nice. Just the shade is confusing me. I am just going to add a teeny bit more right in there with the purpleness. Even though it's not the colour I wanted, the oranginess to it is probably helping reduce and diminish the look of the purple blue bags so like maybe I'll get more use out of this as a color corrector rather than just a straight concealer I'm not gonna pretend I'm not a little bit disappointed um, just because it's not quite the color I ordered but apparently it is the color I ordered but it is what it is isn't it it's just makeup at the end of the day and the, like I said the formulas <laughs> the formula is really nice I feel a bit silly complaining because I actually think my skin looks stunning um, but actually, I deserve to complain because it's not, it's not the colour that was advertised. This, this is not the colour that was advertised. This is the Pat McGrath shade. It's gone really orange. So that's obviously L2. This second one here, just for comparison, is the Estee Lauder Love Wear Radiant Concealer in 0.5N. And this pinky one here is the Affogato uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer. Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS. So they're those three. I was just showing these because that's kind of like a neutrally undertone, that's a more cool tone pink undertone and then that's supposed to be a neutral yellow, maybe it's orange. 
Next up we have powder. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Setting Powder. I picked this up in the shade Light 1, but there are five shades and this is £36. I like this packaging because it's the one where you like pull it out from the like back. Again, matte black with the gold writing. Stunning. So the website says this is a silky perfecting loose powder. So like I said, I picked this up in the shade uh, L1. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see and I don't want to tip it obviously, but it's got like a little net in it similar to the Huda Beauty Easy Bake. So that's cool. I'm just going to uh, tap under my under eyes just to make sure there's no creases. My eyelids crease like eyelids. My under eyes crease like crazy. And then I'm just going to take it on one of my sponges. I'm just looking for a clean one and dab that underneath. It looks like it's going to be a good colour for me. So I just kind of put the powder all in my T-zone and under my eyes just before I gave uh, my first impressions. And the first impressions are very smooth. It isn't drying, like I don't feel crusty, but it is, it is dry. My face feels a little tight. It, it probably just needs to like settle in. Or maybe I put on, no, I was going to say maybe I put on a lot, I didn't. But yeah, it just looks smooth. It does just feel a weeny, weeny bit. It doesn't feel dry, it just feels like it's close, you know? Because under my eyes aren't looking crepey, they're looking smooth. I think once I just do a little bit of setting spray and it all melts together, it'll be really nice. But yeah, right now it just feels a weeny, weeny bit dry, if I'm being honest. I'm just going to take my Mimo Cosmetics, this is number 12, um, face brush, and I'm just kind of like pressing it into here, tapping it off, and then I'm going to just press that over the rest of my face that I didn't set. Pat McGrath doesn't actually sell any bronzers right now, so this is the NARS uh, matte bronzer in the shade Viata with my Mima Cosmetics number 10 brush, and I'm just going to put that in all the normal places. Now that I'm looking bronzed and gorgeous, I'm going to be taking the Pat McGrath uh, Skin Fetish Divine Blush. This is in the shade Divine Rose. And I've just read this on the back. I hadn't, I've had this for a while and I just never noticed. It says Pat McGrath Labs Blush Without Caution. Fabulous <laughs> flirtations and exquisite seductions may result with prolonged use. Okay, Miss McGrath, you cheeky devil. I'm going to be taking my Mimo Cosmetics 09 brush. And I'm just going in, it's super cute, pink, match my eyeshadow. It's a little bit more cool toned. I picked up this shade specifically, I think there's eight shades in total, no, nine. I think there's nine shades in total for the blusher. I picked up this one in particular just because it's so like classic. It's just like a pinky mauve. It's, I feel like everybody has a blush like this in their collection, um, and if you don't, why not? Um, so I just feel like it goes with so much, just because it is so, I don't want to say boring, boring's not the right word, because I love it, but it's, because there were some that were, there was like a bright red, and there was a bright orange, and they were beautiful, but they obviously don't go with everything. I just feel like this, this kind of colour, you could put it with everything and get away with it, you know? I just love it gonna do the rest of my face and then be back for final thoughts so I'm back and this is the full face I'm in love a couple of these things are from Jonana Tisha cosmetics and I will have just posted I think I'm posting it before this one we'll see um a video testing the cosmetics out for the first time so I'll link that down below and then anything else on my face will also be down below but let's get into the Pat McGrath goodies so primer love beautiful I already know I like it foundation beautiful beautiful medium coverage a little bit more liquidy than i'm used to but nothing wrong with that it's not a negative it's just an observation but it looks beautiful concealer very strange about the shade did it work still yes did i like it yes <laughs> which is annoying because i want to be annoyed <laughs> but 
it actually came out nice. Like I can't actually complain about the concealer that much. I mean, it's not quite the color, I still have it here. It's still orange, which isn't what I ordered. But it is what it is, it's a concealer at the end of the day. There are worse things going on in the world. But actually the formula of the concealer, so smooth, so beautiful, powder. Powder, everything looks smooth, everything looks nice. It do I do just think it was a weeny, weeny, weeny bit dry. Not massively dry, just a weeny bit. The setting spray kind of softened everything as it all melted together a little bit more. But that's, yeah, my one, my one thing is that the setting spray, setting spray, sorry, um, setting powder, I think it was just a weeny, weeny bit dry. Not overly dry, nothing looks crepey, nothing looks like wrong, just how it felt more than how it looks. And the last thing was the blusher, which I already know and love. It is a beautiful shade. I saw a couple videos, the reason I actually bought this in the first place was um, I saw Michelle Wong's video and also Too Much Mouth, Shanine, her video. Um, I think Michelle swatched all nine and um, Shanine just had three. Um, like she had just bought three, like had favorite colors. Um, but both videos are so good. I love both of their channels. They are the ones who inspired me to get it because it looked so good on the two of them and I wanted to look good too. But anyway, that is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. It'd mean so much to me. Anything you wanna let me know down in the comments below. Oh, someone's at the door. Anything you wanna let me know in the comments, please do let me know down below. I'd love to hear from you and I will see you in the next one.